Howdy cowdies. How you going? I hope you're good. Not that I really care. Oh, I actually do. Jeez, we've been bloody busy this week at the Collector. It's weekly walkabout time. We've got an amazing auction this week. Whomping big 18 carat white gold diamond ring there. 1.53 carat solitaire. Beautiful clarity and everything. It's got evaluations um, with it. Beautiful, beautiful thing. The lovely 18 carat white gold wedding band. Some beautiful little miniatures. And a pair of miniatures over the back that are a bit later. These two here are about sort of uh, Victorian, 1880, something like that. Both signed by the artist. Lovely big bits of ivory over the back. The big carved tusk, the elephant train. We've got silver cutlery, silver serviette rings. World War II sort of bit trench art. Essendon and other footy club medallions and sort of uh, membership cards. Really nice collection of miniature English porcelain, Shelley, Copeland, etc. Little English China figures, Midwinter, Beswick, Dalton. The great little bits of Italian hand-blown glass figures. International Harvester cigarette lighter over the back. Nice little bits of souvenir wear. Some nice things. Camberwell Grammar School, little cauldron is. Now, let's have a look at some more stuff. Lovely Victorian dressing table. Just needs a couple of little wing nuts in the back of the mirror to attach it. A couple of nice nests of three sort of 1970s teak tables. They'd be thinking Parker, although they're not marked. These are pretty amazing. The Victorian sort of pair of the marble sort of candles or lamp bases. Nice little marble top table there. He's cute little 50s tile top table. I really like this one. Little arts and crafts. Really lovely sort of slender fine legs on it. Lovely little side table. We've got the little kids piano or little sort of portable piano. Bellows organ. Some military belts, more good quality English trios, tins, Limoges and other bits and bobs. Some nice uh, oriental watercolours. One of the horse rider there is quite nice. Now, so we've got some nano rugs, crystal. Got some great sort of men's jackets this week. Bomber jackets and sort of trench coats and Davy Crockett jackets with the fringing and military vests and ladies clothes as well. What else have we got? Big box of furs and accessories hats. Heaters and vacuum cleaners and stuff. Little spinning wheel at the top's pretty cool. Little badge there made in Ashford, New Zealand. And so we got a Weber barbecue. Records, cassettes, CDs, stereo gear. Nice little lot of Castrol oil stuff. Looks like some microscope cases. Big bottles on their stands. Stereo gear. More stereo gear. Big box of motoring ephemera. What else have we got? Camera gear and sort of pretty good quality sort of 70s English and other china. Caps and motorbike helmets. Tools and stuff. Nice big group lot there. Pretty amazing. The big sort of blackwood and oak sideboard. Lovely big thing. The big canoe. A couple of little sort of modern... Uh, abstract oil paintings, both not signed, but they're sort of nice and colourful and busy enough. What else have we got, guys? Boxes of books, a couple of sort of repop Acapulco chairs. Nice big advertising sign there for John Shearer, farm machinery. Sort of hardware, milk bottles and other bottles. So we've got little sort of base... Base amp speaker, We've got some nice stereo systems, this Yamaha one here with the smaller speakers and this Kenwood one here with the larger pair of speakers to go with it. Some lovely old sort of house signs and things like that, 190 Muse. So we've got little Queen Anne display cabinet, good collection of sort of horse racing books again. So we've got Pubinalia, Stuart Crystal, Australian Pottery, Moorcroft, another good quality china. Another nice little lot of English china at the top. All the 70s green glassware. A little typewriter is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool sort of little reproduction. Mid-century modern swivel chair. Like the little sort of um, lead light fire screen. This little side table is really nice. It's got Minton tiles in it. All King Arthur, Mort Arthur, Scalibur, Enid, Assault. Down the bottom, you got Guinevere as well. It's in a really—they're all set into a nice little table. 
Got the little fire screen, he's cute as well. What else have we got? Cigarette tins, stirrups and spurs, speaker cable, continental china, lamps, little corner cabinet's cute. What else have we got? Big signed Kevin Cowboy Murray Fitzroy footy jumper. He's a ripper. Nice big Victorian cedar wardrobe. Big sort of unsigned Trudy Fry sort of charger or something like that. It's an amazing big bit. Nice pair or two Victorian gents chairs. Kind of like, we all like this little coffee table. It's kind of cute. Pretty heavily carved camperwood trunk. Nice Victorian style sort of hall table. Auto trolley, another gents chair. Little fold over stool or ladder's pretty cool. A little red chest of drawers, little red tape chair off to the side's pretty cute. What else have we got? Paddle pop line street signs, fantastic. And the big black rock chicken flame grilled chicken shop signs, pretty cool. Got some nice paintings this week. Philip Luton watercolour, nice thing. Kind of like this, the Russ Kane. Nice little portrait there. What else have we got, guys? Uh, little Wretchford still life oils, kind of quite nice. A uh, little pop art, it's an interesting bit. Nice old stipple engraving. A little watercolour, quite a nice. Who's that by Carmel O'Neill? There'll be better pictures of these on the website, guys. That's a nice Donald Fraser oil painting there of a little busy beach scene. Pretty typical for him. All right. Thorn reel to reel, a little retro clock, some Dresden and other figures, a couple of more pairs, another whomping big uh, fuse with a nice big insulator, crystal, group lot of sort of mixed china, nice little lot there with a little uh, little bronze sort of sensor lid, a pair of little Ebony elephants, a couple of nice bits of Ainsley, Far Side, another sort of Hagar comic strip books, Continental China, nice collection of ten cards. So we've got crystal decanters over the back, more crystal glasses. There are two Jim Beam cars there. We've got their bottles that are full. Some good records. Reproduction Golden Fleece, Japanese China. Nice little clock there with the Ericsson phone. Some Royal Albert China, cutlery. Another nice big lot of crystal. Little putter, decanter. It's pretty cool. Let's see, we've got bowling pins. The Wendery CC Cup won by T. Isles. Uh, Wildflower is the name of the dish liquor, 1927. There you go, it's got the little greyhound up on the lid. Fantastic trophy. For nice Japanese wood blocks. Nice big collection of crystal. A nice mint and dinner set there. It's all in good condition. Soup coupes, cups, sauces, plates, etc. And the nice little English 1930s part dinner set. More good collection of glass and crystal. More good quality English china, more Stuart crystal, some early Wedgwood Majolica, although it's unmarked, we think it's Wedgwood. A nice big lot of English china up the top. A collection of glass, the Home Guard decant is a good bit. Some flying quackers. These are pretty interesting, the big sort of heavy brass oil burners they look to be. Uh, old tennis rackets that have never been used or strung. Film camera, cast iron line doorstop, two other tennis rackets, Chris Everett one. Australian Pottery, Diana and Alice. Nice bit of Capo de Monte, hey? All hand painted. I'm going to hear me say that every day, are you? A nice bit of Capo de Monte. Little group lot of sort of bits and bobs. Some domestic pottery. Little aspic moulds, good bit. Some Victorian glass and porcelain. Canadian enamel duck. Little dishes are quite nice with a little bit of Royal Copenhagen. Signs, microscope kit. More woodblock prints. What else have we got? Lovely big collection, I think, of Italian glass, all frosted. Tuscan trios, Ainsley cabinet plates, little Royal Copenhagen uh, mermaid is lovely. All good quality English little littered pots. You've got Worcester on the left, Crown Devon and Dalton. Big AM Boyd jug that has been restored. Salem cigarette signs are ripper. Some nice royalty china. Coronation, pair of coronation plates, 1911. Queen Victoria plate. Little Italian... Cat band's pretty cool. Tuscan. Kind of like the brass and copper warming pot. A couple of Chris Sanders goblets. Victorian glass. What else have we got? Interesting bit of pottery over the back there. The mother and the daughter. 
Some nice Eastern Brassware. More Stewart and other Crystal Vases. Staffordshire Spaniels. Morano Quackers. Another nice lot of Crystal over the back. Whomping Big Continental Vase. Probably French would be thinking. All hand painted. It has been restored in a couple of places. This is a beautiful big bit, again, of unmarked pottery, but we're sure it's a wadji, Japanese, with the big dragons applied and the fish handles. Beautiful bit. Davidson's cloud glass, pretty typical. And the lovely big sort of bronze uh, enameled cloisonne jardinier. Beautiful thing. What else have we got? A couple more Ainsley, I think, cabinet plates. That might be Worcester, I can't recall. Dalton. Uh, uranium glass. Dalton with the horse. Huh? Huh? Fitting. Have you backed the winner today? Worcester. Nice collection of glass and crystal. More Ainsley cabinet plates. What else have we got? Nice paperweights. Sign. Nice Dalton figures. The Dutch vase over the back's a ripper. Lovely little early Dalton nurseryware cup and saucer. Melrose. The enameled, what is it? Tyson's sheep dip. Little Art Deco flip clocks a ripper. More bits of Royal Copenhagen. Dalton figure. Oh, who's this pottery guy? Mitsuo Shoji. Little vase there. Thanks, Mark. I've forgotten. And a nice bit of Dalton. And a nice Dalton cabinet plate over the back. Little Silvac um, boat vase, the ripper. A couple of nice bits of Australian art glass, both signed the cockatoo goblets. What else have we got? Uh, top shelf. A lively little Chinese blank de Chine figure. Beautiful bit of Victorian glass. These are pretty amazing. The Reed and Barton sort of trumpet shaped serviette holders. Medina glass. Worcester cabinet plate, pretty sure, over the back. What else have we got? Lovely little bit of Balik there with the green mark. It's a nice big sort of Japanese, wasn't it, Aaron, the bowl? Yep. It looked to be Chinese to begin with, but we did a bit of digging around and found out it was Japanese, all marked and hand painted. Beautiful bit. HCW uh, Glenfiddich Whiskey Jug is a good thing. Little Aboriginal painting book, all in uh, Albert Namajir in the Hermansburg School. A pair of A.M. Boyd ramekins. It's a good bit. Little A.M. Boyd cabinet plate over the back. Hand painted by John Howley. Just signed A.M. Boyd to the back. Spoke to John the other day and he told me he painted it. So there you go. Holmgar Gulvars McIntyre. Little World War I commemorative jug. It's a good little bit, this, of Holmgard, little uh, penguin there, designed by Michael Bang. Gouda, a pretty amazing M4 of ours over the back. Really unusual bit. Anyway, we've got a bloody good auction this week, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't see something this week, you're never going to see nothing. See you on Thursday night.